What up, though, guys? It's your boy, Stevie D, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tour of my studio. Let's check it out. So right here is the front entrance to my studio. When you first walk in, we have a futon here where people can just come, kind of chill out, relax real quick um, before the shoot. Have a few magazines uh, over here on the table. So just a little small lounge area over here. Um, as we get into the studio, which is pretty much like an open layout studio, everything is pretty much in one area. Um, this is where I store my V-flats. Uh, I have a set of black and a set of white V-flats, which I absolutely love. Gotta have in the studio V-flats, love them. So um, as we go over here, um, over here is um, our psych wall. It's a 13 by 12 foot psych wall. Um, it's pretty small, but it gets the job done for what we needed to do. Um, the space isn't that big, so having a real big psych wall was kind of defeating the purpose. Um, we've been trying to keep it clean, but that's the hardest part about having a psych wall is keeping it clean. Uh, over here is uh, my tethering cart. Um, and you got Stevie D on uh, YouTube. <laughs> um, over here is our, our backdrop system. I put like three backdrops over here um, on this mobile backdrop stand. And then over here is where I actually store uh, all my backdrop paper. I actually built this. Uh, I'm gonna link um, the video below on how I built this little nifty um, backdrop holder thingy. I guess that's what you want to call it. So um, we're going to go over here a little bit past the psych wall and I'll show you guys um, where I keep like my light stands and things like that. So here's some light stands. Um, this is a C stand, but I put it on wheels. Here's some other roller wheels, some regular stands, um, backdrop stands. Um, to mount the paper on, and our, our actual bow flector, reflector that everyone loves to use. So we're gonna go over here, and this is where we keep our alien bees. Um, I actually rent this space out, so when photographers come here, um, we supply alien bees. We got some triggers over here, uh, some clips. You never can have enough clips. Some extension cords. Um, here's a big seven foot umbrella by cheetah stand. Absolutely love that. And over here is our modifiers um, for the alien bees. We got quite a few. So we definitely got some choices. Um, then we walk over here. This is kind of our little fashion corner. And um, we have the industrial steamer, which I just used to steam my shirt. <laughs> uh, we have the clothing rack and a little accessory table over here. Um, for people who are doing like their fashion stuff. Over here in this area is our makeup station. Um, really love this makeup vanity. Uh, makeup artists love it. Um, very bright over here. So um, over here we have our little Bluetooth speaker that we jam out to. Definitely rock out in here. Um, gets pretty loud, so our little speaker. And then here's my little vision light studio, light up box, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so we're going to take a, a gander in my office. I'll show you guys what it looks like in the office. Let's go. So over in my office here is my desk. Um, I have a pretty big desk. Um, it's pretty basic though. So I got my lamp, um, my 29 inch LG monitor hooked up to my MacBook Pro. Um, I typically don't do uh, much photo editing here. Um, at the studio, I would rather edit at home. I have a 27 inch iMac that's color calibrated um, that I use. So most of the time I'll do video editing here or do any office uh, work here on this machine. So that's my little desk where I work, work from when I'm in the studio. And then over here, we have uh, my little fridge, uh, my printer, my uh, podcaster, so um, if you guys haven't had a chance, check out my podcast, the Holla at Your Boy podcast. It's pretty dope. <laughs> uh, over here is where I keep my babies, uh, my molas. So my mola Seti, uh, my mola Demi, and my mola Rayo. 
Uh, I keep that here um, on the shelf and not out there in the general area. Um, I have some, some LED lights and things like that for video work. Uh, over here is pretty much like some of my accessories. Here's my Mix Pre 6 that I'm actually getting sound of right now. Um, monitor, batteries. Um, here's my um, Rode mics for a podcast. Um, down here is where I keep my pro photos, uh, my D1s, uh, my B10, and then I have a, a few acute packs um, down here. Uh, one of them I actually need to get rid of because it doesn't work anymore. So just a little stuff down here on, on this shelf that I keep that I use personally. I don't let people rent this stuff out. This is all my stuff um, that I use when I'm doing photo shoots. So, oh yeah, here's my, um, my NTG5 mic. I keep it on the boom. I just keep it tucked away in the corner. Probably should have been using that to record audio for this. <laughs> um, over here is my throne chair. A lot of people, when they rent the space, they love renting this throne chair. So um, this is a good look if you have a studio. People love using these for birthday shoots. <laughs> uh, over here is my little futon area where I kind of chill out at um, when I'm not out in the studio or if I'm like viewing pictures or if I'm meeting a client in my office, we kind of kick it here. Um, on this little leather futon. Um, over here is where I store some of um, the studio stuff. So I have like tissue paper towel cleaner. Um, I got a few boxes from some of the stuff that I have, just general stuff. Um, I have some of my lighting modifiers up here, um, broke, already broken down that I keep right there. Um, I actually had a, I'm not an alcoholic, but I got a whole, whole case of Pink Moscato. Shout out to my boy Chester for hooking me up with that. We were supposed to use that for an event, so don't nobody call me no alcoholic. <laughs> um, this is my big birthday right here. This is my Black Magic Pocket 4K that I shoot, you know, some video stuff with. Um, I just keep it in the office because I don't use it um, unless I'm shooting a video or something like that. And then over here is my TV. Um, sometimes like I'll have a client here and I'll hook up uh, my MacBook to the TV and we'll watch uh, or look at some of the images from the shoot and um, pick through and some of my other images up here, man. So that's basically it for my office. It's pretty small. I keep it. I try to keep it clean. My wife has to always get on me because I don't keep it as clean as I should. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the office a little bit and and I'm going to um, change it around a little bit. So maybe I'll do a video on that. But that is the studio, my studio, Vision Light Studios. Um, so I showed you guys that and I showed you my office where I hang out at. Uh, if you're a photographer in the Houston area looking for a studio, holler at your boy, I'll take care of you, all that good stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you guys know where to reach me at. If this is your first time here, please give me a subscribe. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up. Hit that bell to be notified when I upload all new videos and uh, holler at your boy.